Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we welcome back Malcolm Bailey from Nozomi Networks, who is back for a second IT Jam with us. So in today's interview, we'll be going further in depth on Nozomi's presence in the APAC region with a stronger focus on Vantage, which is their uh, solution. So welcome back to the jam, Malcolm. G'day everyone, and g'day Nick, thanks for having me back. No worries, good to have you back. So um, my first question today is, what are the key threats facing the APAC region in terms of cybersecurity? So I think we've seen a lot of financial and reputational type uh, aspects here, but not we haven't actually focused in on the OT environment. So when we're looking at, say, an example that's just happened recently would be, say, in Florida, uh, Oldsmar, where a water treatment facility was remotely attacked. And the incident that occurred there was where the attacker increased the sodium hydroxide levels by more than 100x, which made the water for that community of 15,000 people undrinkable. So the OT environment in that aspect was totally neglected and a solution such as Nozomi would have prevented that type of incident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, so IT has been the main focus when it comes to cybersecurity, but what about OT, um, what does Nozomi do in that sort of area? So I think we've got a really good understanding and grasp of uh, the different risks and threats within IT environments. But when we're moving into the OT side of, the, uh, of an organisation, I generally call that the black box. So how we do that is, um, I suppose our speciality is to give that visibility with the Nozomi solution to open up that black box to provide that level of um, information and detection capability to the, the wider IT and OT audience. And the way we're doing that is by protecting the different types of industries as well that would have within regions. Say for example, the critical infrastructure around utilities, so the energy sector, water, gas, et cetera, transportation, mining, manufacturing. And why we need to do that and um, provide that level of monitoring capability is because these types of uh, control system environments are, are the ones that are actually running the economy. So we need to give that higher level of uh, visibility and protection to reduce the level of cybercrime within these industries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and can you give us an overview of your Vantage solution? Yeah, so Vantage is our SaaS offering. So our software as a solution, it's cloud-based. And what it's actually doing is to give us that uh, level of visibility and security around OT, IoT, uh, IT environments and where an organization these days, they're going down that digital transformation path and how they're doing that is by including all these different types of IoT devices and assets within their, within their uh, roadmap as well. And when we're looking at IoT, the explosion of the amount of devices we'll see within an organization is in the thousands to tens of thousands, depending on the, uh, on the company's deployment. And with the SaaS offering of Vantage, it's actually quite scalable. It's infinitely scalable because of the compute infrastructure within the cloud. So we're giving that level of visibility and protection and then the comfort to an organization that we can actually meet that requirement of monitoring their environments. Right, yeah. Um, and finally today, Malcolm, uh, could you tell me who you're working with uh, in the ANZ region and in the wider APAC region? Yeah, so we're working with quite a lot of different industries across regions. So uh, as I was talking about earlier, so the, the uh, critical infrastructure industries, the utilities environments, manufacturing, transportation, uh, mining, etc. So the way these uh, companies are working with Nozomi has um, been on the on the growth over the past couple of years because uh, the way I'd say the government has now included the uh, level of visibility for cybersecurity within uh, OT environments and the need to protect the critical infrastructure. And why we're doing that is, um, I suppose, as one of our key customers would be uh, Trust Power over New Zealand that you've previously covered as well within Tech Day. So they needed to uh, start to have that visibility and understanding around their threats and vulnerabilities within their control system environments because that in, its, in a nutshell is what, uh, why the, an organisation is there in the first place. So IT is there as a, like a supporting service, but the control system environment that TrustPower is protecting is actually what um, uh, the assets that generate the revenue, et cetera, and provide the electricity for the wider New Zealand uh, community. So there's been great investment from governments uh, within region 
what, and it's been coming down to the different uh, critical infrastructure acts that are uh, starting to appear within uh, the different governments and countries. Cool, perfect. Well, um, that concludes today's 10 minute IT jam with Nozomi Networks Manager for Solutions, Delivery and Projects for APAC, Malcolm Bailey. Thanks again for joining me today, Malcolm. Thanks very much, Nick. We'll talk to you soon.